couldn't tell by my eyes, I'm mad smack right now, but I just got this idea and it's been three months since I posted a video, so fuck it, I'ma roll with it. I mean, I don't really know how many of y'all been like fucking with me for this long, but back in like 2016, 2017, I used to do the rant videos. I wear the do-rag and had the videos in black and white. I mean, I'm bugging. I would've had a do-rag. I would have a bandana on. Hey guys, so I wanted to try things a little differently this time. Oh, sorry guys, hold on a second, forgot. So, in this video, I'm gonna be exposing all these fucking YouTubers on this channel who think that they're the best. Because we all know who's the best. You know, it's not it's not me. Um You know, like I wasn't gangbanging or nothing, I just thought that shit was funny. Before then I used to do all this extra shit. Like I would curse, I would yell, like I would throw chairs and shit. Bitch! Why the fuck would you put Are You Gay as a title? Attention seeking clickbait ass titles. This is what pisses me off about fucking YouTube, son. This is what pisses me off. But now, I'm not going to get up in here and get, like, make a show. I'm going to just be straight facts. But yeah, y'all see by the title, I'm going to be talking why I personally think a treesh is better than a celibate. And for those who are wondering, like, what a treesh is, a treesh is like a thot, a slut, a hoe, whatever you want to call it, that. Like, we just we just say treesh. I feel like a lot of girls who, who are celibate and don't really have sex often, they, they, like, make it a thing to, like, be like, oh, yo, I'm not, like, a thot. You know, I'm not out here fucking like that's a bad thing when it's really not like you no know, sex is a natural thing. Everybody do it. I mean, humans are meant to breed, right? I mean, I ain't really pay attention in, in like, what is it, biology class? Is that where you learn that shit? But yeah, I think a treat is better in the way that a celibate would let. All right, let's make a scenario, right? Because I'm big on scenarios. Let's say it's a celibate and it's, it's let's call him John, right? This nigga John. He's he's 28, still lives with his moms. He's a virgin. Uh, he a simp. He pays for OnlyFans, all that shit, right? And he finally meets this girl, right? The celibate. She tells him, "Yo, you gotta wait like you gotta wait two years, and you gotta put a ring on my finger to fuck, right?" John, being the 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 simp nigga he is, he he falls for it. He buys her the ring. He buys her all this shit. He does all this shit for her, right? And then when they finally about to fuck, it's it's great night today. When they about to fuck, right? They gonna do all this shit, and neither of them not gonna know what they gonna do, cause she ain't she she don't got no experience, and he don't got no experience. So it's just like, what the fuck is going on here? See a treesh, if you bro, if you a virgin and you fuck a treesh, like a treesh, like I'm talking about like a treesh. Oh, you would have the time of your life, bro. Like I'm telling you, go to any New York high school, bro. And ask any nigga like to tell you their story about fucking a bitch in the staircase. Don't go out trying to find something about the first time is special. Fuck all that. Go to a fucking strip club, pay a bitch $500, bro. It's gonna be the best night of your life. Facts.